We are not reporters nor journalists. The views, information, or opinions expressed are strictly and solely barber shop talk. We pride ourselves on being uncut, unapologetic, uncompromising, unfiltered, and refuse to conform to anything less than. So if you can't, cut the cap. This ain't the show for you. We cannot go through this episode without talking about the drama that's everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. And that drama is Diddy. Um, Diddy is everywhere right now. Um, so I got a couple things that we can talk learn. about. Yeah, we got a couple things. First, uh, they leaked the tape for Diddy beating up Cassidy. So we can talk about that. So I'm just giving you bullets. Oh, Cassidy. Talk about it. Cassie, Cassie. <laughs> I didn't say Cassie. Oh, I said Cassie. I said Cassie. Oh, I didn't hear. I didn't hear. I yeah. thought you said Cassidy. I ain't gonna cut. But I... no, it's close yeah. to. Excuse my list. No, no, no. That, that might have been my mistake. Know what I'm saying. Yeah. So sure. they leaked the tape. Um, him beating Cassie. Um, his son dis fifty cents. He's being sued again by a model. And he has a docu series. All the Diddy updates. Well, listen, we're gonna talk about it. Right? Yeah, I feel you. It's a lot going on with him. So, and there's a docu series out on him right now. I'm, it's probably like surviving Diddy or something. I don't know. Hold on, there's a docu series. It's a docu series that TMZ made that they sold to Netflix. Nah, ain't no <laughs> so, they so they was on it's a lot going on right now. <laughs> that was that was fifty two fifty sold that documentary. Oh, that's t- uh, yeah, yeah, that's stuff. But fifth making yeah. power moves. He got the studio now. Listen, so with all this being said, now it it looks like they're not even trying to prosecute him. They're just trying to bury this man's career. Like the the entire, I guess, scope of it has changed. So, I mean, let's let's start off like. Do y'all think Diddy's guilty? That, that's the obvious. Yeah, we we all what know the that. Fuck? Right. Yeah, I, I, I start off with that. Start off with that. Well, no, no, no. Do we no? We we think Diddy's I guilty don't think of shit. This trafficking. Is a video. Right. Well, no, 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 no. Seated, like everybody seated. No, no. What I'm saying, do you think he's guilty of trafficking? Because that's what it started off. Oh, trafficking women. Uh, yes. Uh, little girls. Hell, motherfucker. Yes, bro. You do think he's guilty? Of, I don't think he's guilty. I just think he's a horrible and he's abusive. Yeah, bro, we spoke about this before. You you said them. You said it. You said they ain't had nothing on Diddy. I told you. Oh, they I didn't. We got, did. We did talk about it. I the, told yeah, you yeah, them the niggas thing. got shit on Diddy. They just holding out. They, they it's gonna come out. Know what I mean, like that's they crazy clear. though. Y'all trying to say he on some. Yeah, yeah, I don't think they killed it too. I remember we talked about that. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so but this this rolls all into it. I don't. I think he has so my my as information comes out, I do think he has tapes of people doing wild stuff at his parties, but I don't think he's guilty of sex trafficking by any means. The sex trafficking is wild for me. Now everything else, the gay stuff, the why, hold on, why is the tapes, sex trafficking wild for me? Why is that wild? <laughs> Because like I don't think he's actually involved with the sex trafficking with the little girls and cetera. I do think he was involved in all the craziness. Of well, I'm not saying about. little girls. You know what I'm saying I'm just speaking in general. Well, I sex mean that that was the whole thing that brought up that it was girl. He was sex trafficking child. No, no, no they didn't say age. little girl. They said under age. Under age. age you know yeah. I'm saying that don't necessarily. Okay, well, mean okay that's what I mean when girls. I say little girls and stuff. Under yeah, age. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like, but that's that's a wild. That, but why? That's in, because that's way different than me just being gay and freaking off at parties and having tapes. But you know, if you just fly somebody out, you, you, do you understand like what sex trafficking is? Like if you just fly somebody out to another place, you know what I'm saying? That would be considered sex trafficking. You know Not necessarily, if unless it's like against their will. No, so it has to be against their will. Against, hell no. It does. Yeah, it has to be against it because if if I fly a chick out from New York to here, right, and she's coming to see me, that's that trafficking because she willingly. Bro, if I fly somebody out to go have listen, if I fly somebody out to go have sex with other people, that is that means sex she trafficking. working, but you see, you the sex trafficking means she has no. You literally making her work for that. If she is coming to you to do that. That's not on you. That's a worker. That's a chick that's trying to 
do what she do. And chicks do that all the time. You can't put that on him just because he got some drinks coming Ain't no to way do that. Doing this right now. There's no way. No, but that's not because that's complete. When I when I think of sex trafficking, I think of like them chicks that got kidnapped. And then they in Russia and they forced to do yeah, what they got. Let me ask you do. a question, bro. Did you just see the? Did you see the video, bro? Of him beating up Cassie. Right. Yeah. So, so you're computing him being abusive to yeah. sex trafficking. No, I ain't computing nothing. I'm computing the fact, nigga, the fact that Diddy thought he was untouchable, nigga. That is a fact. Yes. That's what I, that I, video I'm not tells me. With that. That video don't just tell me the abuse between him and Cassie. That video tell me his mindset or who he think he is. You in a huge hotel, public hotel, mm -hmm. where you notice know cameras everywhere. You know what I'm saying? And you do, and nigga, he ain't thinking twice of doing nothing. Ain't no way that this nigga don't give a fuck about nothing. I mean, you're damn right he do. What? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, but again, uh, again, that uh, doesn't equate to him just automatically. He's, he think he think he's untouchable. When you think you, when you got that god complex, nigga, you doing whatever the fuck you doing. You don't give a fuck. He clearly and that could that could very be well that that could very well be true. But that doesn't equate to him doing something completely different. That could just mean Why? he think. Because that could just mean because there's many there's plenty of men that like that they think they can't. Yo, be this touched. is the nigga who came out and said. After this Cassie shit came out, before yeah. but we're not talking about this, we're talking about the lawsuit. Okay. Remember, he put up a whole Instagram post, enough is enough. I'm mm -hmm. tired of people dragging my name. I did none. I did nothing of any sorts of what people are blaming me for. This is after Cassie put out his lawsuit, nigga. Now he out here apologizing to niggas. I'm sorry. Because <laughs> a video was out, like ain't no way we doing this right now, scrap. Like, yeah, but listen. So what, what I'm trying to understand is you're equating him being an abusive power trip dude to sex trafficking. No, there's a difference between power trip and you having a god complex. Okay, when a nigga like Diddy is, he's absorbed with power. Know what I mean, mm -hmm. like he know he can get away with shit. He got away okay. with this technically, you know what I mean? Because you know what I mean? Did. It was said that he went to the hotel and he got the footage. 50,000 for the tape. He, he didn't know that Cassie got the footage before he did. You know what I'm saying? But this is my point of what I'm saying. This is how he worked. This is how he operate in the world that he live in. In the world that he live in, money took. You know what I mean? And he could do whatever he want and he going to get away with it. That's a fact. So if a, a nigga with that mindset, ain't no way you going to tell me he not up to doing other shit you think this is where it ends shit like this hell no yeah but the, what i'm saying is the things that actually we know him of being that like, having taken doing stuff with sexual relations with other people all these stories that come left and right never about traffic it's always about him being with a dude doing this or this or abusive because these are not new like this is stuff that we heard already right now it's just coming to light the only thing that hasn't been said that you're saying that's true was the sex trafficking part because all of this like he, him being abusive him being gay sleeping with with famous people in the industry that's all stuff cat williams been talking about that in the stand up seven years ago like this is not new stuff it's just coming out so for me i'm looking at it like okay damn this is where he get caught and this is where he definitely wrong and he's he's a monster with this but as far as the sex trafficking thing there's never been talks or anything about that until now and i don't think he's involved in that part they like i think he, talks, he's guilty of everything else as far as there <laughs> hasn't been talks about a lot of stuff until now that this this is the way the cookie crumbles that's how it goes yo but you trying to say like he that's what i'm saying like sex trafficking you trying to say he's like he's bringing minors in and like you know because that's, that's what they're they they trying are. to get him yeah, for that's what they're trying to say yeah, yeah. so you say wolf you saying that they bring him they like he basically bring him minors in to, to mess with him. I don't think he give a fuck who they are. I'm saying that's what I'm saying. So then, yeah. So then you think because you could be underage, you could be seventeen to be underage. You know what I'm saying yeah, so it's that's not necessarily fact. like when we let's get it clear. It's not like we talking about you now. I mean, eleven, twelve, thirteen years. You know what I'm saying he could be seventeen. That's underage. That would be still considered a minor. Yeah, saying? so then that's then you agree. Like that's when he was with Cassie, what wasn't Cassie wasn't Cassie when he first got with Cassie, wasn't Cassie like eighteen? 
Nah, nah, I don't think she was 18. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I don't know, but I mean, I know guys. I mean, I went to the past day. I mean, a lot of these guys out here, you know, are barbaric and they don't really care about information like that. A lot of guys like that. She Facts. was 19. You know I mean? She was 19. And when you look, so look, 19, that's not far off. You know what I'm saying? But and, but that's because it was public. How about it was behind closed doors? You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? We all know like a lot of men, you know what I'm saying? Especially, you know, men with power. They like dealing with younger females because they could manipulate them. They could mold them. They could, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's just a fact. So, listen. yeah. And I, they don't have any set ways. I, what I, I'm saying, I won't put none of this shit past this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Clearly from now, what I do we think, saw, yeah, it's not, not to cut you off, you know, Walt, but I do think he had Cassie doing some wild stuff. And that's the borderline you could say something about sex trafficking in the sense of that, where he had like, he well, he had heard, it was, I heard, I read a story somewhere. She said she wanted, he wanted her discharged so she he can feed it to the guests at his party. Bro, you can't believe anything. Bro. But I'm just no, I'm just these are the stories that I'm reading. But I, <laughs> yeah, but, but, but people but just I'm, drop it every day, bro. That, but that's what I'm saying. But then they got some crazy, other way, like he made her do some wild stuff, and you know what I'm saying. So like, if he's forcing and engaged in sexual acts and filmed encounters, that ain't far off then. That is for a tampon in the mouth. That sounds no I'm, discharge. Not even a tampon. This is a discharge. Okay. Not even a tampon. Whatever, whatever that means. Let's just. <laughs> yeah, Yo, in, in 2024, good. right now, bro. I'm not gonna yeah. cap. Uh, we seeing a lot of people. You know what I mean? Get get caught up in that minor thing. You know what I mean? Um, I gotta agree with uh with Wolf on that one. I think I don't. I don't think you know what. I, I took some time to reflect, and I was like. I seen it with myself. Where we, where we from in the hood? Mm-hmm. You like, yo, why are they dating me? Why are they taking our girls? When we was like 15, 14, the dudes on the corner, they grown men. Why they? They're why they with, with the fresh ones? Yeah, they, why they with shorty? So I think that's, that's like how they a, look at it. <clears throat> yeah, that's a com- you know I, what's the right word I'm looking for? Like that's 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 like a community thing. That's 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 how we. That happens in all coaches though. That, yeah, that's, that, not just, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that's something yeah. that we gotta. We got other coaches really... is actually legal with it with a grown man again, marries 14 year olds. Again, that's because you could, yeah, nah, man, you can manipulate them, you could get them yeah. to do whatever the fuck you want. Know what I'm saying they're gonna follow your <laughs> lead because you the older, you the elder. Know what I'm saying that's just yeah. how it go. I oh, I was gonna say, yeah. I used to hate that, bro. Like, I seen it with my own eyes, man. Multiple, a lot of people, and I thought always thought that was like weird. You know what I mean? Because I wouldn't do that now. I always thought that was weird, but it was like a regular thing in the hood. Like, yo, shorty going to high school. You and you, I, you, you, you been out of high school. You been, you selling work, and you, you trying to cop. You buy, she buy weed from you. Y'all end up stairs smoking, and that next thing you know, you taking it down. And she only like sixteen, and you like twenty something years old, bro. Like, yeah, that's crazy, bro. Nasty work. Yep. So I definitely ain't putting none of this shit. Past yeah. Her. Well, I was making conversation. That nigga is a monster. Um, no, I'm with, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want y'all to be sitting there like I'm defending. Diddy. No, no, Let's no. Get that no. Out Actually, the way. Yo, I'm not gonna. I got. I got some. I got some views on that. On that. Okay. Well, hold on. But what, what part we on? We on. So no, we so we would just talk about the. I I started off with is he guilty or not, and what is he guilty for. Now we could trans. You could talk whatever you guilty. want because then we get into the diss with the son and et cetera. Oh, I I think we all know he's guilty. I'm not gonna like beat on a branch and you know what I mean. I think we all kind of know like he you know he messed up. I uh I I would hey sweetie what's up sweetie. Hey, Joseph said, dang, five, what site you be on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think we all know Diddy. Uh, I, I just feel like um, my point, I'm, I got a different outlook on this. Like, I always had a different outlook. The stuff that I see, I never liked it, whether it was Diddy or whether it was somebody next to me. You know what I mean? So I just think we got to have the same energy that we got for, like, typing and you know, taking Diddy down, we gotta have the same energy in our, in our communities and stuff like that. You know what I mean? That's that's my take on it. It's always have been. It's never gonna change. I don't like how we do things in society. How we just like everybody just ready to dog Diddy. Everybody just ready to yo cancel him, cancel him, cancel him. And I think 
as a community, we need help. Like, I feel like, you know what I mean? We need to address this in a, instead of like, <clears throat> just like canceling them and throwing them away. Um, there's other way. Cancel that nigga, man. Yeah, see, he ready to do that. Hell yeah. I'm yeah. on, t- listen, I'm on tell with this shit. Cancel yeah, but that nigga. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like that, that no, I don't feel like it. I'm very strong about that. Like, if we're going to cancel him, there's a lot of predators right in our backyard that we need to cancel. That's a people. fact. That's a fact. Yeah, yeah so. It, 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 it don't matter who it is. I was telling somebody the other day, I'm like, yo, I know a few predators that we probably need to cancel. Yeah, I got that energy, but I don't think everybody else has that energy. And it's never showed with that energy. You know what I mean? So I just think, like, as a whole, we need to, like, clean our house up, clean our backyards up. You know what I mean? People but, around us. Unfortunately, it. but it's going to be looked at different. But, but, but Small Joe and on the block. You know what I mean, it's gonna be looked at different from a nigga like Diddy who was in a position of power. Yeah, you know but the posi- yeah the position of power that don't mean that you don't pick and choose your battles. You know what I mean? If you go have that energy, have that energy for everybody. I agree. You know what I'm saying, but cancel this nigga. I don't give a fuck. Cancel this nigga. Got to go. Mm, yeah, he got <laughs> to go. You got a nigga out here screaming, "Brother, love, 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 love," and look at this is what he doing. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Here, yeah, I ain't. I ain't. I'm not. Uh, I, I would never say don't cancel him, but I'm just saying like that's not. That's not the the resolution to our problems is just canceling people. You know, what I mean, we gotta. We got a lot of work but to do. It, it goes back to like our system and itself. Like, sadly enough, I don't think nothing's gonna happen to Diddy. Sadly enough, I don't think nothing's gonna happen. That that's just my opinion. Um. Or they would have snatched him up already. <laughs> yeah, at this point, I don't think it's so. Already because already happening, bro. Yeah, but you know, what's happening now is a public, like, disgracing him versus actual charges. Does My that, nigga, that, that make that, sense? You know, that could be worse than, like. It is for his career, but that's not yeah, locking somebody up. It's not just his something. career, nigga. His personal, too, nigga. Like, that. Yeah, but it, is he, a he personal, didn't... he's a public figure, bro. Like, yeah, and it's over for that now. So that, that's out the window. Public yeah, humiliation is is the highest. Like, right. You know, yeah, but that's a fact. Granted that, but it, it would have been the same. It would have been even worse if he got charged for that too. So they're publicly humiliating yeah, him coming. right now. But I don't, don't think worry. he would have got charged. Like he's not going to get charged. And I think that it's over. I for mean, him. he can't you get charged that. for this because the statute of it's limitations. It's past the time. Was, yeah. It was and time. that's why they released it. But yeah, but if you if they release this, you think they don't got what? <laughs> this is my thing, bro. Yeah. If they put this out, you don't think what, what you think they got in the chamber? Like you think Nothing. this is the only this is the only you think this is the only thing they had in the, in the clip? As far as like prosecuting, I think they got plenty of videos and shit, but not nothing to prosecute Diddy. See that uh, that's my whole like I I I keep standing on that like he got people probably got he had a shit ton of videos of people doing wild shit at his house, so he got evidence of everybody. They probably got that now, but as far as him doing something illegal. They probably don't have anything on him, but he's such a monster. They're trying to ruin him, and that and I hold on. You don't think they got nothing illegal on? I don't. I really don't. I don't. I really don't, bro. I don't. But like the sex parties and all that, unless it's some 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 backwards shit that you know him being a seller of drugs at his crib or something. I don't think they got nothing. He got he got some freaky nasty shit. Remember, was in here talking about this nigga is a he a. He he out there. He he be dumbing out like. Oh like, yeah, you feel yeah. me? Like so, you think this? You think this is where the buck stop? Did, did he been calling shots for a long time? This nigga man. been yeah, out I here blowing he niggas, whips up and all this shit yeah, and all that. Like, you know I'm saying it, allegedly. Like, again, you know that's I mean? not yeah, what yeah, this yeah, is yeah, where yeah, the buck yeah. stop, man. Eh? No, no, but again. Way, bro. I'm not saying he's a saint. What I'm saying is what he's being. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you don't think they got you don't. The subpoena in a raid was for him being a trafficker. That's what they tried to take him. I don't think he's going to get prosecuted. He get he done. I'm not saying he ain't do shit. He did mad other shit, right? He's an abuser. He probably did some gay shit. He probably got mad. Sorry with the word, but he probably got videos of all types of people doing crazy. Stuff. He probably got a millions of other things. But what they're trying to get him from for, I don't think they're gonna prosecute on him, which is a sex trafficking. That's that's all I'm saying. They they can lock him up for a million other things, the domestic violence and possibly they you know there's all types of rumors that he had 
Kim Porter killed, and he was being her too. And she warned Cassie when before she died. All there's a whole die, bunch of bro. crazy stuff. I, out. I, I, yo, I feel there's a whole bunch of crazy stuff. But we could go down that rabbit hole. But I'm, as far he, as the sex trafficking is, I don't think he's going to jail. What he meant, but listen, what Wolf meant by that was like, I think Diddy's a gangster. I've been said it. Diddy's a gangster. It's footage of Diddy okay. probably somewhere do. That's what they probably go get him on some other joint. They probably got. But they wouldn't get that from Diddy. his crib though. A gangster gonna have to, he, he, you think That's he ain't beat people up and film stuff like right you think he ain't bro they gonna pull some it stuff gets, out, but then bro. it gotta be within that seven year grace period <laughs> they gonna pull some stuff out bro oh okay you you sent that text to get that hit you know what i mean you never know i i hope you know what i mean diddy you know what i mean not I to mention shit like this see this is also this is why this is a play you know what i'm saying because putting that video out mm-hmm. is gonna make people want to come forth yeah yeah you feel me there's already people they did. Changing they made they, another there's already people changing again. they they stay tuned there's already people singing a different song from before this video came up know what i'm saying you got bodyguards and all that by his own bodyguards know what i'm saying previous or prior bodyguards who before this video came out niggas had amnesia they ain't know what was going on all of a sudden the video was out oh yeah you know Stuff like that used to go on all the time. Well, I hate that though, man. Oh my god! This is, but of course, but yeah, this is yeah, what I'm absolutely. saying though. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what's yeah. gonna lead to that? That's why yeah, I said yeah. this was a play. Whoever put this out, yeah, they knew yeah, what was gonna yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah, but see that I, I this niggas is playing. I chess, agree, bro. but that's not how prosecuting with the federal government works. That sounds like they're reaching to get more shit. That's what that sounds like. Like when the, when the FBI and the awesome young again, joint. yeah, on again, when I think about sex trafficking and I think about FBI, they don't do dumb shit like this. The motherfuckers have everything and then they take you out to court and they got, that's why they got a 97% prosecution rate. And they are the yeah, ones that normally FBI, do all. Though. That's not FBI. Exactly. So that, and, and once, once again, Homeland Security is where that they're doing a sex trafficking case. So that's where I keep going back to it. Like, what the fuck is going on in my head? Like, me knowing how the federal government work on who prosecutes what? What the, f- what the fuck is going on? Why is Homeland Security even involved in it? Then there's another rumor that he got a tape on somebody that has friends with Homeland Security, and that was the cause of the raid. There's all types of dumb shit out there as far as rumors are concerned. I can't confirm or deny anything. Right. <laughs> but man, fuck this nigga, man. <laughs> yes, very much so. But... That's how I'm I mean, fuck this nigga. <laughs> Period. Yeah, but it's it's yo listen uh, for me, like, and this like again, like I said, when mm-hmm. I seen that video, there was some telltale signs for me. For okay. me, like I said, the fact that he ain't he could care less about the fact that he's in a public place. Yeah. He know this cameras, know what I'm saying? He it wasn't thinking about none of that shit. He ain't give a fuck about none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Also, now I mean, for me, me looking at Cassie's reaction to all that, when, when it was going on, that shit told me that it this shit happened time. numerous times before. Yep. From her reaction and the way she was acting when that shit was going down. You know what I'm saying? And this is something that we see in, in public, that's going on in public. Imagine what goes on behind the doors that we can't Sally see. Sadly enough, Wall. That we don't see. Sadly enough, Wall, I know people that are abusive to, to women, and they don't care. They don't have Diddy's power, but they just don't care. They would smack their woman in public. They would do this shit behind closed doors. They would. So I think it's, it's that, that mentality that you, first of all, the mentality that even hit a woman. And I don't think. It really the thought process is fully to think. Oh, I'm I'm in a public place. I'm not going to smack my girl. Like if you used to beating your girl behind and she say some crazy shit in the public, your natural reaction is going to be to do the dumb shit that you do. So I don't add that with his power, and it's crazy. But I think people that abuse women are naturally just they don't give a fuck who's who's around or where it happens. So I don't give that excuse. That shit is wrong, no matter. What and then you add the power nah, that's that Diddy got? Excuse, nah, that ain't yeah. an excuse. I'm just saying, I can only imagine. Nah, I mean, what go on mm-hmm. that we can't see. That's a fact. That's a fact. All right, so, so let's transition, transition that, over. Yeah, my bad. 
Hold on, you going on something else? Because I just want. No, say it's still on Diddy. It's just it's it's a different part of it. But go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Nah, so <laughs> so amongst all of this, right? <laughs> his son decided to do a diss track. Uh, Diddy's son Christian is trying. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> with Joseph, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> I see no difference. <laughs> I see no difference in what Diddy did to Cassidy. That's a fact, Joseph. <laughs> that's tough. That's, that's tough. a that's fact, tough. Joseph. Shout out to you. That's tough. Um, yo, why you look like Kevin Gates, Joseph? <laughs> yo, <laughs> that oh, picture. <laughs> yo, an older version of Kevin Gates, man. Shout out to Joseph. Oh, man. Man. So his son is trying to stick up for him. Shouts out to his son. But listen, this ain't the time to do. Um, and did you did y'all hear this song? That shit was trash. Yeah, I heard it this song. That, nigga's a that shit was trash. I mean, I mean, do you think he did the right thing trying to stand up for his pops? Heck yeah. What? I don't expect nothing else. Why? I don't care right, wrong, or what my son better ride for me. That's. I don't think I mean, that's a question. He could have stood up for his pops in a different way, though. I mean, but. I mean, I I feel, but at, at the end of the day, you know what I mean? You got to go down with your pops. Like, I don't, nah, nah, nah we not going to do that. Okay. So yeah, you you got to go, go down, down with, with your pops. <laughs> no, you know what I mean? Not do what he, of course you go, you, but I'm saying, you know what I mean? If somebody just, you know, 50 ain't got nothing to do with it. You know what I mean? You ain't going to just let nobody keep dogging your pops. 50, 50 trolling, bro. Like, 50's on ultimate troll time, bro. It ain't even about, 50 don't even, I honestly, nope, and 50, not to say 50 don't care about the women, but come on, it's 50. We know 50. Yo, bro, 50 literally just said the Knicks lost because they let Ja Rule kiss the trophy. Like, he's trolling, bro. Like, yo, he's on the super troll. I, I know he said that. Yo, he definitely said, yo, y'all should have never let Ja Rule yeah, kiss the trophy. Fun. Like, yo, this dude's be trolling, bro. Like, yo. <laughs> so I would stick up for, you know what I mean? I hope my son would, you know, you know what I mean? He would stick up for me like, all right, listen, you go get on my pops. Nah, he, my son better not stick up for me in, in this type of way. Hell no. I mean, a real. I like this. this. Is yeah, how, ride, yeah. You going to ride with me? Hell yeah, but not like this. Nah, I mean, this is yeah, some like, bozo like, shit. I'm going to keep it funky. If I'm going through some shit like this, whether I'm guilty or not, I'm keeping my kids away from this. I don't no, want them involved. What you in mean? That. He's in the industry. He's, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah so he, he, he I'm right. separate. Yeah, like, right. okay. So, but yeah, but he's dissing somebody on part of his father while his father got all this controversy that he's actually guilty of. It don't matter, bro. Somebody punch you in the face right now. And your, and your son standing and you was wrong, you gonna just let people your son just go stand in That's a different that's different than your That's your how father. they taking it though. That's how he taking it. You know what I mean? That's how the younger generation take it, bro. Yeah, like yeah, that I'm man. Sure, yeah. I'm sure that was him trying to stick up for Yeah, the one time. SMD but is he, up. But he definitely did it. That was bozo shit. He should have had better. Yeah. You tell a niggas the feds hit the wrong house. They didn't know they bought the next the house next. Like, yo, oh, bro, what are we doing here? Yeah, he's he's a lover. He's more of a lover songwriter than yeah. Him. Like, first of all, nobody <laughs> want to hear you rapping. That's number yeah. one. Okay, I'm gonna keep it tall with you, bro. Yeah, you know I'm saying we already got 3. one 5. of you. We already got one of you <laughs> as your pops, my nigga. You know what I'm saying you rap <laughs> just like that. Nigga. Yeah, yeah. Mean? So I'm I'm good on that. Where was the and I definitely guy? don't want to hear like stick to your, this right here. Right, like, right. All yeah, this yeah, shit. Yeah. Know what I mean, Absolutely. stick to that. We don't want to hear you on a diss track. Like, yeah, who wants to hear that? You know what I'm saying? And, and then trying to give you the, the essence of rap, man. Nah, then you come out the master of the the the, the of trolling. The, yeah, it's like it's like the little you ever watch the kung fu movie and the like the 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 dude who training the, not the sensei the dude who he training trying to fight the master and he just mm. he go lose, bro. Like you ain't got no business. <laughs> yeah. Like why are we doing this? Yeah, that was a waste of bars. I mean, he could say that. I don't think that he approved of that one. That was a... absolutely. Listen, and then on top of that, now we can get into it. Fifty released the doc. Actually, so See, fifty released the doc series. Fifty doing a lot. He <laughs> gonna lie. Fifty doing a Let's lot. Right. <laughs> was this the first thing he made when he got his new studio? Or something like what the fuck is going on? Like, like that's tough. Like fifty is the ultimate Fifth troll. Fifty is a genius though. Man. He a marketing fucking genius. My man. 20 years later, he's still on the head top, yo, bro. This dude, yo, yo, I, I, yo, man, it's it's a it's a it's hilarious, and you know what? 50 is the definition of 
I think we all can agree. Keep that same energy. 50 is the ultimate. If there were ever like a picture next to somebody in a dictionary of keep that same energy, it's 50. Oh, the mass won. The mass win. They won. Did they? Man. I don't know. Holy mass win. According to Tillo. Yes. They did. 108, 105. Ooh, close. Boston, <clears throat> your time is almost up. That's tough. That's tough. I hope Luke you should stay. Well, I, said, I ain't gonna lie, I, I, I'm cheering for Indiana. Champ Indiana? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listen, man. It's, first of all, two reasons. I, oh, hold on. I right, we on the hold on. We on the yeah, right, right, right. I mean, <laughs> I was about to jump into right. a tuna wolf. I feel you. <laughs> right, right. What happened? What I missed? What I missed? Nah, sports, sports. Nah, yeah, nah, yeah, yeah. The... We because I know we on this. We we, we gonna get into that. We are gonna get into that. The um. But uh, last last things on, on on fifty fifty trolling Diddy anything you want to give remarks on anything would you, let me know this better be good I know that fifty don't put out nothing that yo because fifth I'm not gonna cap the more shows you get fifth the harder it is to make them decent <laughs> yeah bro I'm not gonna I don't want no fillers bro I'm, I'm not going to these ten episodes fifth we we gonna be doing the talking about you in a minute fifth. For real, I, we appreciate you. No, Fifth is a genius, but let's let's get some quality. Now that you got this studio, do not put out quantity, please. We would like to see some quality stuff, man. You know what I mean? I know it's a cash grab. Netflix is dropping that bag, but we, we need some. Yeah, we heavy need some bags. Yeah, we need some quality. You don't let the, you know what I mean? That BMF joint he dropped documentary, it was all right, but it was not. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Something you replay over and over. And that's what that was a documentary form. You know what I mean? We happy yeah. same thing you gonna do with the Diddy joint. So let's 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 get some quality going. 